Welcome to this week's episode of Library Picker on this final day before winter break. This is my dog Brody. He's a big fan of winter break too. He's also a big fan of snow and a big fan of playing fetch in the snow. So that's what we're probably going to be doing for the next couple weeks. Let me pull up uh, all the things we're going to look at today. And what I'd like to do in this episode is show some books to you that I do not want you to check out. And I don't want you to check them out because these are books that I might be interested in taking on break and reading for myself. Um, but if you see something interesting, I guess you can check them out if you really want to. We're going to start in our science fiction and fantasy section, and we're going to look at a five-book series, um, but we're going to start with just the first book, and it's called Here There Be Dragons. At the MICDS Book Fair a couple of weeks ago, one of the Barnes & Noble guys saw the books that I had in my hand and suggested this series to me because he thought I'd like it. Um, it's about a professor who gets killed one rainy evening, and the last thing he does before he dies is he entrusts this book of maps, of mysterious maps, to his student. And that's where this kind of fantasy adventure begins. We're going to look through the book a little bit. Let me get to the right page. And what we're also going to do is listen to an excerpt from the prologue of the book, just to get a feel for the, uh, for the story. It was a very distinct sound. The quiet scraping of steel on stone that first told him that his visitors had arrived, followed by a strange sort of tapping and the shuffling of feet. The tapping outside in the alleyway became more pronounced, and he suddenly realized it was less the sound of tapping than it was a soft cacophony of claws snapping together in anticipation. He set aside his pen and notebook and settled back in his chair. There was no denying it. It was time. So, it looks like a really great book. It's in our science fiction and fantasy section. And if you like it, there's four more books. We have kind of a dragon theme going on on this shelf. I'm not sure why, but if you like dragons, there's a bunch of books there. So, let's head over to our drama and comedy section. Look at another book. And this one is called... The Wager. This one looks interesting. It is a retelling of a very dark Sicilian fairy tale where a young, very wealthy, very handsome man loses everything in a tidal wave and becomes a beggar. He then meets the devil and makes a deal with him. If he doesn't bathe for three years, three months, and three days, the devil will provide him with a magical purse that is always filled with gold coins. This is the story. It's not for the squeamish. There's a lot of pretty gross details in it, um, but the, the premise is really interesting. So that's in our drama and comedy section if you want to check it out. Uh, let's head over to the historical fiction section. Some great ones here, uh, some World War II themed ones, and we're going to take a look at one called Picture the Dead. This is a kind of like murder mystery, ghost story that's uh, partially set during the Civil War. And the really cool thing about this is that it's, uh, it's kind of a scrapbook where the characters are collecting all this evidence. And here's their website just to get a feel for what the inside of the book looks like, picturethedead.com. It's got a lot of pretty cool pictures and stuff. Uh, let's look at a little bit of a video that the authors made for the book. Actually, let's fast forward because I just want to get you to get a feel for what the uh, the inside of the book, the scrapbook feel of the book looks like. And we created this character, Jenny. Really great, really kind of spooky uh, illustrations. A lot of documents. And the authors are saying right now it's like evidence that the, the characters are collecting. So, pretty cool stuff. That's in our historical fiction section. Um, try that out if you get a chance. Hey, the other thing is if you, um, you know, over winter break are going to be hanging out with younger kids, uh, we have a lot of really great picture books that we're starting to put in our short stories section. So if you're looking for something to take home to share with some siblings or some cousins, um, take a look there. You might find some cool stuff. How about we head over to our grab and go section and we're going to look at a book called Ice Core. Let me read you a little bit from the back of this book. Carl Hobbs is a 17-year-old British computer hacker who penetrated the security systems at Fort Knox for a laugh. But the American government was less than amused. Since his prank, gold bars have been landing in the hands of terrorists across the globe. So the 17-year-old British kid is now in the secret American prison in the Arctic, um, and he's got to escape. This book is all action, so if you're into action, try this one out. There's also a sequel to this book if you, if you like the character. 
Um, and we'll go over to our action and uh, suspense area because there's a hardcover copy of this book there too if you can't find it on our grab and go shelf. And if we turn the corner, we're going to look at another book um, where we have a hardcover copy in action and suspense and we have a paperback copy in the grab and go. It's called Nick of Time. This one kind of has the feel of an old-fashioned adventure, but there are elements of like time travel thrown in. You're going to meet Nazis. Uh, you're going to meet pirates. It's really a great adventure. Let's watch a little bit of what the author has to say about his book. Now, well, why did the time travel come in? Time travel came in. I, well, I have a hero here named Nick McIver, and he, he's, it's, the book begins with him wondering if he's got the stuff to be a hero. Yeah. Uh, and he also lives on a little island with nothing but cows, and he says, how am I ever going to get a chance to prove anything? Um, and his two heroes are Winston Churchill and uh, Admiral Nelson. And so I had to bring time travel in because I wanted him to meet both of his great heroes in his right. life and prove to himself and to them that he's a hero, that he has the stuff to be a hero. Yeah, it so that's a great one. I know this says books for boys, but this is really a great book for anyone. A lot of people are liking this right now, and it's being checked out pretty often. So that's it for this week's episode of Library Picker. Hope you have a great break, and we'll see you in January.